What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. We're here with Sir Geralt of Rivia, Gulaim, and we're at the tourney grounds, and we're about to start the horse racing tournament. Let's head over to the entrance and get it started. We just... Okay. Well, we finished the crossbow tournament so far, and, well, we have a few more left, so let's just get... Oh, there's a bunch! Holy moly! Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous! Gaze at the host assembled before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. Come from far lands, here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Save her the titles of their presence, be proud. Palmerin, the Baron of Longfall. Linus of Metida. Rainfarn of Atra. Whoa. Home like a spark of Maked. Dunimir of Troy. Guy de Boisfren in service to the Duchess. Delwyn of Craigiao. Count Ty of Dondal. And say of Lyria and Rivia a prince. Geralt of Rivia. Before Gregoire of Mount Gorgon let out a roaring cheer, the faint fire of silence, Tony champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe. Does ignorance demand a bard in deceit? Does someone need telling how tourneys proceed? Say nothing. Oh? No. How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother Meath, Queen of Lyria and Riffia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. The Tony's protector, the mate Vivian. Her beauty entrances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the Tony. And only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed. Swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Bring it on. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come. Fast as the wind, bright as the sun. Well, let's fucking do it. We racing all these guys together. All checkpoints passed. Uh, let's do it. We the thunders roar, who pounds the ground. No legion of traumas could make such. We a got sound. the guy narrating everything. Did you see them horses though? Get some. Some of the other horses, the one with the horns, oh, we gotta get them. I'm pretty sure they're probably at the... Get some, another one. Wait, we hit that! I'm pretty sure we hit that. Maybe we didn't. What? What? How did we not hit that? Get the hell out of here. Oh. We missed the... The one checkpoint, even though we definitely hit that thing with the bow. Maybe it's... There we go. We hit it that time. We're probably... We probably can't miss anything. There we go, Carol. And we gotta shoot farther back. Motherfucker! We hit that! I know we hit that! This game cheating! Cheating! Oh, 
There we go. Oh shit. Does it matter which way we go? I guess not. <laughs> we're just... We're just strolling. Good riddance. So every time we get one... Then the time goes more, which is easy. Okay, I get it. As long as... Oh. What the fuck? How do we not get that? <laughs> this is not going well. I think the game's cheating on us. Literally. Definitely missed. Got him that time. Extra time added. Oh. Come on. Roach, we gotta go faster. This is not going good. That's another one. Seven, we need two more. If we would have hit the ones that we actually hit. One more. There it is. Game winner, baby. See ya. What? Folks, what? Will he last? Enjoy and keep pace. What tension? What? Oh. I thought hitting the things gave us the choke points. They, they didn't even give us the choke points. <laughs> a race of such style, such grace, such speed. To watch was a pleasure, a treat indeed. To honor our entrance, praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. The finest of wine and food shall be served. If you've blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. Oh. I congratulate you. Here, your prize. A saddle adorned with your crest. Many thanks. By the way, my maid saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Would you know who it might have been? No idea. How juvenile. <laughs> Congratulations on your win. In stellar style, no less. Ah, I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. We must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead the way. Easy peasy then. I thought we had to fight the, uh, big guy. At the end. So? Any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty's striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Why not? Thanks, some time. Yeah, let's get drunk. Come on. To Vivian, may you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. <laughs> ah, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. Your presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel then. Coward. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. Well, I'm more than willing to fight. It's some other time, I'm busy. Yeah, come on, let's throw it down. You insulted me one too many times. Since you insist, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. Motherfucker, we're not a soldier. We no damn soldier, no damn lackey. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over with. Quick. Three. <laughs> two. One. Bring it the fuck on, man. Me and you. Oh. Eat that. Did we hit him? 
maybe not. I turn around. Totally missed. Calm. Totally missed again. Come on, we got him, I think. Come on, nice. Eat that, you sucker. Did that hurt? You'll never learn. You'll never fucking learn. We about to cut Meeve's kid's head off. <laughs> this is not going well. Let's just stop and then go slowly. Hey, man, that hurt a little bit. You scuffed my pads. <laughs> this is so hard. This is harder than any of the fights in the game so far. There we go. Don't make me drink water on you. <laughs> you see him hauling ass over to us? I'm gonna get him. Wrong way, Geralt. Totally close to it, Geralt. You almost had him. Hey, we hit him that time. I know we did. <laughs> Girl swung one way and actually hit him. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. I know we hit him that time, I think. I seen blood. <laughs> I didn't really expect this from anybody except for Tails. I thought Tails would be the one yelling shit about us. <laughs> Completely whooped it. Bye bye. For reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it. You still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. You mean to say, you had a secret mission, set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. Good on you. That changed. A knight always keeps his word. <laughs> I definitely expected something like this from the Tails guy. Because, you know, the books when we whooped his ass in the books and then we slapped him in a second game. My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, Private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. That guy's massive. Oh. Can we run? Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. You think she wants help? There can be only one. Should we go get our haircut? Oh, Confront picture. Vivian. Are you sure, Gleam? You think she likes you? Hey, man. Let me get some cheese. Let me get a little bit of cheese with that wine. Rainfair. Huh? How are you? Take good care of yourself. 
I swear on my own, I shall smash the plunderers, scatter them to the winds, and drive them from ah. that she. Excuse me. Let's keep on going. Let's follow Not Vivian and confront her. How are you? Ever oh. seeking Lady Vivian. <laughs> Some kind of maniac. There's so much banter everywhere. How are you? Good health to you. You blocking that sun? You sure are. Or the rain, maybe. Go confront Vivian in her tent. Do you think this is a good idea? She already knew that we were sneaking around in her tent once. The fucking racing, the racing, horse racing, I literally thought that we were missing the targets. And that's why we weren't getting any checkpoints, but it was, you had to hit the targets to push the time up. Obviously, I know that's what they said, but for some reason in my head when we were going out there, I'm like, okay, I hit that target. Why isn't the time, or why isn't the checkpoint happening? You had to go through the checkpoints for the checkpoints, you big dummy. Is there a bird in here? Oh, there's a bird. Strange. We're sure I'd find her here. Vanished, melted into thin air, and that bird, she a Bruxa? No, Geralt, I think she is that bird. Maybe. What if she is that bird? Or she vanished, and she's hiding in the stealth. Definitely, maybe a Bruxa. Let me loot her orders, huh? What this bird? What is this bird about, though? If she's not the bird, then she's definitely a Bruxa, but do you really think she's a bird? This bird has something to do with her. off worth going oh. after well I gotta loot first you know Carol let's get the bird come on looks like the birds leading me somewhere leading you somewhere I wonder if we should get on Roach let's get on Roach come on Roach the birds leading us somewhere does Roach have horns oh Roach kind of has a spike she doesn't have the horns it's going to lead us to a cave, watch. Good call on Roach, though. We never caught this bird. A panther? Oh. Come on, panther. Let's pour a trap down. Wow, this is crazy cool. We're fighting a panther. Wolf versus panthers. Who do you think will win? I'm putting the money on the wolf. Roach, you alright? Panther scared the... Hey, where are you going? It's just me. <laughs> Roach, did you see Roach? Is she playing games with us? Like when, like tag or something? Is that what's going on here, Roach? You playing horse tag or something? Is that more panthers? Another panther! I'm thinking that we stay off of Roach for now. Come on, panther. You scared? I don't think so. Oh, we don't have that. Come on. Let's take a potion. These panthers are pretty fucking awesome. What now? Oh, good hit. Real good hit. Wow. Alright, Roach. Stay over there. You don't want to come over here. There's panthers everywhere. Where'd you go? Are you just watching us fight the panthers? Are you leading us to fight the panthers, though? Or this place is just infested with panthers? Let's just keep running. I think that might be a better. There's another panther. 
or yeah there's a panther I wonder why the panthers though think it means something come on oh yeah Come on. Good riddance, Panthy. Keep on trekking. Wow, we are wiping out the population of Panthers here. I gotta say, it's probably... Like, I feel pretty bad about that. Because they're so rare. I've never seen them anywhere besides here. You think they're in Zeracania? Probably. Hey! Stop, drop, and roll! You're definitely doing it. Oh, we missed! Alright. I'm going with the theory to- oh, look at the moon! Beautiful! I'm going with the theory that the panthers mean something. And the bird is leading us on this path for some reason. Just to slay panthers though? Why? I don't know. That might be a little... Be reaching too much, I think. Possibly. The bird flew off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. Cave? Oh. Is that... There's the cave right there. Geralt, we're gonna need... A torch, sir. There's probably another panther up top. Oh! What the fuck is that? A Bargus? Come on. This is... Where the hell did you come from, Bargus? A white? Not allowed. Hold on, let's take some stuff. It looks like it's poisoning us. Maybe we should get our armor back on, huh? Nah, we're gonna fight in our our night armor. Our white armor? We're gonna fight in our white armor. I don't know what a white could be, and a Vargas has to be a spec- A Vargas is a specter. We'll just put- Since I don't know what the white might be, but it looks like a- Necrophage? Like a water hag type of thing? We'll just keep this on. Let's get some distance. Come here, white. Borgus is whooping my ass. Come on, white. Oh, we took... Damn. We took cat. We didn't take... What is this? Die remover? Oh. I took cat, so we don't need this anymore. I meant to take golden oriole. Let's get a bomb out. Eat that! Get off fire! Wow! Throwback, huh? Vargas! They're here for a reason. Undefined copper ore? Friends, they are here for a reason. Wait, is that where the bird is? Probably. Remember, the Bargus were around because of wicked deeds in the outskirts of Azima. Broken mana core? Wait, what? Let's keep looking in this cave. Look at us fighting in our knight armor. I'm gonna put this thing on display. I hope we keep it. Another torch. Get out of here. I have to read what that is. We have to read what the hell white is. A panther. Well, all right. Pussycat, pussycat, where have you been? I've been to Sintra to look at the queen. Pussycat, pussycat, what did you there? Run, fool, that's not a cat, but a panther. Rare variant of a traditional folk rhyme. Panthers are dangerous predators found in forests and other woodlands. They are quick, agile, like all cats, diabolically... 
cunning. In many less than thoroughly unurbanized areas, folks still believe panthers are the stranded souls of those who die in their sleep. Superstition thus holds anyone perishing in this way should be dragged to the nearest woods and left there without a burial. The panther spirit of the deceased may then devour its own body, thereby passing on to the nether realms. This belief must be eradicated by any means for it leads to epidemics of cholera and other contagious diseases born of rotten corpses. Besides, it is patently ridiculous given panthers are not necrophages and will not consume carrion of any sort. They prefer more spry and lively prey such as deer and even humans provided they are not ill and do not stink too badly. Well, that's preposterous. What the hell is a white? Look at this thing. It's definitely a necrophage. Good, good, definitely. I mean, it definitely looked like some kind of water hag ish. Axie? Wow, okay. They say the dead like quiet. I don't know about the dead, but whites certainly do. Henrik von Grott? Though whites are ghastly and threatening in appearance, one should not approach them with sword drawn or attack them unprovoked. Left alone, they present no serious danger to anyone and are far more interesting in mixing noxious brews and cauldrons than in fighting. Really? So this thing was... It wouldn't have actually fought us then? Makes you wonder. We could have talked to him? Maybe? This species mainly lives around ancient burial sites though. They have also been spotted near more recently founded cemeteries and wherever mass graves can be found. Whites spend their winter months in a state of lethargy very similar to human sleep. They live strictly solitary lives. In fact, it is particularly unheard of for these creatures to appear in groups, yet when they fear their territory is threatened, and it is enough for one to step foot in White's territory for it to feel threatened, Whites transform into dangerous foes and even abandon their solitary ways to summon other monsters to their aid. So they just summon monsters then. Yeah, but this thing is... What's more hideous? A water hag or a white? They're both pretty fucking hideous. Maybe the... Okay, water hags are females turned haggis. Whites are males turned haggis then. Possibly. Technically. But for a peaceful species, I mean, that would be very hard to just walk up and say, Hey, I'm Geralt, Knight of Rivia. How are you? You want to play around the Gwent? Maybe we should have came in there sword out of hand. They might have actually gave us a cup of tea or something. Who knows? All right, well, let's keep going. Find the bird the other side of the cave. Let's put our sword away then. In case we run into another white, we can talk to him. But the white led us here for a reason. Or the white. The bird led us here for a reason. Follow the bird. Though I kind of want to get rid of cat, but it's okay. Take in the beautiful sights of nighttime. We'll just keep on going with it. The music is so relaxing here at nighttime. I really enjoy it. Was that Vivian? She's definitely a bird. Witcher. Lady Vivian. Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa. A what? Suspicion I had. That you might be a vampire. Certain details seem to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot. With no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, 
Not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Um... Afflicted by a curse? Can't you tell me? Don't know? You're afflicted by a curse. Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Cause the Duchess trusts me? Cause I'm a freak too? Cause cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone? Got nothing to fear. No, I'm not gonna say nothing because it could actually hurt us in trying to lift your curse. I swear on the heron. All depends what you say. I swear on the heron. Got nothing to fear. What's the heron? You got nothing to fear. Came here to help you. And I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. What the creature looked like? You know, when we were in the tent and we seen just the bird and I said, Oh, she's definitely the bird. I really didn't fully believe that she was the bird. Not like this. I think she was like this, but maybe I thought maybe it could be a polymorph type of thing, turn into a bird. That's what I, more, more or less what I was leaning at. More or less that she might have been a mage because Geralt's whole medallion was shaken by her, so I figured it was some kind of polymorph thing, but yeah, I guess it's some kind of polymorph thing in a way, but not like this. Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened then? What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But fifteen summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Poor girl, so this is her all the time. So she uses basically an illusion to be normal. Wow. I feel really bad for her. There has to be a way to... This is my type of mission here when it comes to curses. I love these ones. Magic illusion? Using them can be dangerous? Well, it can be dangerous, but... I don't think she really has a choice. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. Yeah, we can try to lift it, and I hope we really do lift it. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't 
guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent's life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. There is another method? You're quick to reject help? We can transfer the curse onto somebody else and it- Carol said it's the safest method? Really? Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on the new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. Yeah, but if we put it onto somebody else and the hold is weaker, then what do we do? Lift it from that person too and goes on somebody else and eventually the curse will die off that way, possibly? And that's the safest method? What's the other method? Yeah. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as-yet-unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die. Yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree. Wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we? Return. Let's think I'll stay here. I wonder what this place is. Maybe we should go back. Damn it, because I don't know where we are. Let's stay. Think I'll stay here a little longer. As you wish. Then I shall see you on the morrow. I want to look around. I don't want to miss anything because I don't know where we... I don't really know where we are. Oh, well, there's wolves. The warble of a smitten knight. A smitten knight. Called the Gulaim in your tent. Wow. Maybe we should have just went with her. We have options here, though. Where the fuck are we? We're 10,000 miles away. Oh, we're all the way over here. Oh, man. That's all the way over there. We should have just went with her. We could do these undiscovered locations, but I kind of want to get to the quest a bit more. So we will go tourney grounds, but let me look around here first. This is a lot to think about. Plus, I want to think a little bit. I want to discuss what could possibly be going on here. So if we let the curse go into somebody else, the curse will weaken. The other person will get the curse, and then she will be free, completely healthy. Unlike, she would only have seven years to live if we transfer it with the bird, the egg type thing. So if we do it, transfer it into an egg, then she will have maybe seven years to live. What is this? What is this place? I think, man, I don't know. This is a this is a tough choice. This is a very tough choice because we could ruin someone else's life. She'll be free, but we may very well ruin someone else's life. Or we transfer it into the egg. She lives happily ever after for seven years and then dies. So it seems like a rough situation either or. Oh man. This is a pretty cool area, though. I would like it if the, if it was daytime. I don't really want to meditate, though. Even with Cat, this view is amazing. 
pretty, pretty tough choice here on what to do. I don't exactly know what I want or what we should do. I don't know if there's a right answer here. In the world of The Witcher, there's never... It doesn't ever seem like that, that way is better than this way, always. It's always kind of... Do you call it the lesser evil? I mean, if you think about it, wouldn't the lesser evil technically be... Roach, you're having a hard time getting over Bridges. Wouldn't the lesser evil be... Oh! You're on your own, boar. Anyways, wouldn't the lesser evil be to just transfer it into an egg? So we're not ruining somebody else's life? But I just... From the outside looking in, right? That feels like the safest bet. To me. Because... This whole potion stuff, we gotta get rid of it, I can't... I can't see. Maribor. White honey! We're not gonna have our good potions for the tourney though. Oh, the glam in your tent. So much beautiful. Look at it. What's that in the distance? Oh, that's a bowl clear. How close are we to the tourney grounds? We should have just went to the tourney grounds. I was thinking that they gave us that option because there was probably something to loot around the area. But it didn't look like there was anything. Maybe we could have gotten the water. I don't think we could have, though. This is her tent, huh? Vivian! I don't know. Like I said, on the outside looking in, it seems like the egg might be the safer bet. But... It might not be the best bet. Right? If there's a chance of a weakening going to somebody else, then the other person could get rid of it too. And it might just die off. If there's a possible way for it to die off. But I feel like if we just put her into the egg, put it into Need the egg... Find my tent. Should look around for the one with my crest. Blue bridge on a black field. Three red diamonds on a white one. You still on about stuff? Don't make me put you on that barrel. Yeah, Gerald, you tell him. Have shown themselves cowards. Folks show no compassion. Get out of here, ma'am. You're lame. Hey. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. Sorry, promise her I wouldn't tell. A powerful curse conflicts her. Damn, did we not tell him? We did promise her. But what if he could help us? <laughs> Geralt, you're breaking your word. You didn't swear, Geralt. We didn't swear. We said only if it's necessary, we will tell. I feel like it might be necessary. Already. Calling in a... Calling in a help card. Please. Come on. We were both right, actually. It is a curse. One that's transforming Vivian into a bird. Her condition's getting worse. Gods! A curse that is a worse affliction than disease. What now? Can you help her? That'll depend on her. I'll try if she asks me. Significant risks involved, though. Shortening her life to about another seven years included. What? This is not what we agreed. It is all of the Vivian, but the spell is complicated. Tough case. Curses hold on her grow stronger every day. And I'm a witcher, not a miracle worker. Heard of one other method that could work. Curse could be lifted via her reflection, say in a pool of water. Thing is, we'd need someone who'd willingly assume the burden of the curse. Take it on in her stead. You mean, become a bird themselves? Theoretically. See, curse grows weaker once it's transferred. Might end up as just an appetite for seeds and worms. All outcomes are on the table, though. Death included. I am prepared to sacrifice. Give my life for her. Just as King Friedank's knight did for the beautiful Queen Sero. Knew that already. But are you prepared to swallow bugs for the rest of your life? <laughs> yes. 
Which method do you believe to be best for Vivian? I don't know, don't know me. yet. But you have some notion, have you not? Do not tell me you seriously consider drastically shortening her life when I stand prepared to shoulder the burden. Need to perform the egg ritual? Should try the water method? Ah, oh, we gotta pick! I don't know! Maybe the egg ritual might be safer because we probably are ruining this poor, poor guy's life. But then again... Maybe? What if he's immune to the curse, though? What if it transfers to him and he's, his immune system or whatever it is, just him in general, kills the curse? That's a possibility, maybe. Should try the water method? Damn it! The egg seems safest and that's what Vivian wants to do. And he wants to do the water method. I kind of want to do the water method too. Over the egg. Because I feel like the egg is too easy. It, it feels like they are laying it out to us. So we do it because they, they're making us think that that's the best option. Because that seems to be the safest option. But to me, I feel like this is the better option. I feel like it's actually the safer option for some reason. I feel like they're trying to throw one over on us here. Method using a pool of water is better. Poses no threat to Vivian. Naturally. Y you must know you can count on me. I shall bear it all. But Vivian, I fear she might be too proud to agree to such a thing. I'll meet her after the last contest. Talk to her. She could agree. I'm counting on you, Witcher. And I'm content we finally know something. What now? We know all, so you need not see the tourney through. You could withdraw. True, I shall get an earful from the Herald should you fail to show for the last contest, but it's nothing I can't handle. So, what will it be? Want to finish the tourney? Back out of the tourney? Going to wait for Vivian's decision? Let's finish the tourney! We already started, let's finish it! I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till the tourney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance, by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. Somebody's about to get their ass whooped. Gulame. He does love her. Really. He's brave to do it. I just feel like it might be the best thing. I could be condemning this poor kid. Probably am. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonso will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. I doubt you'll do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. <laughs> Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. How many times we gotta prove this guy wrong? A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight, full tilt, till one drops to its knees. Who virtue ignores, or lance blows, unclean, shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Gerald is ready. Can we use our signs and stuff? Let us begin! Crowd, race a ruckus! Blood, sweat and tears shall soon follow in buckets. Can we take our- oh, we can't even take our potions. Come on, let's no do it! Mercy. Bring it on, lions! I don't know if I want to party you. Hang in there. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Come on. 
Let's keep flipping around. <laughs> All of them are... A lone girl stands, alone and fights on. But inside does he weep for those who have gone. Wait, the whole team is done? Fucking wimps! Come on. <laughs> Who else wants some? Let us end this, you and I. You're done. Rend is OP. From the right. Now. Come on, guy. I'll show you. Oh. We almost went with no hit. Knocked them the hell out. Winner, winner. The world's never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such verve, each knight was victorious. Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rithia, who the strength of lions boasts. He sailed through all trials, each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last? Will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground last won, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. Who else wants some? Come on. Our whole team got wrecked. <laughs> it is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes? Any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks. I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name. Though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a tight ton of infamy. Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of Lassie's tourney. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, you're going to get some. Come on. They sink the crowns, the titans oh my. upstairs. Oh my. You're bigger than fucking King of the Wild Hunt. Mesdames et messieurs, okay. a victor, a champion, the unequaled. I don't think we can use. Gregoire de Gorgon. Hip, hip, hooray. I don't think we can use signs. Let's not. We might get disqualified. And now a few words from our sponsor. The Tufo Vineyard. For strong bones and deep drink Tufo. A wine for your tip, a wine for your soul. Come on, you big klutz. No, we can drink water. <laughs> Come on, you big buffoon. Ren for the win against all these big knights. Holy moly. Let's take our time here. Gregor. Fucking mountain. We got the mountain over here. <laughs> Shit. Alright, no wheeling. Let's keep up with the wrens. I think that, that might be the play here. I don't think so, Gregor. Gerald is just chugging water. Like he's got a beer dispenser helmet on, but it's with water. That's how you rend. You give up, Gregor? Get out of free fire! This year's champion! A sight to behold! He defeated Gregoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! What? Geralt, 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 Geralt. 
As patron of this grand tourney, I've the honor to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon his love for his heart's captor, and it was doubtless this vow that carried him to this splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor, and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena. I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. The folk will guard you. The least you should do is wave. Anything for you, ma'am? Geralt of Rivia's sword. What a great name for it. Honestly, that is a great name for the sword. I can't wait to use it. Greetings, my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure. Want to tell you something, though. Think we should try the alternate method first. I was clear. It is out of the question. Let me finish. Second method's less than reliable. To put it simply, might work, might not. But it will. I shall save you, oh lovely Vivian. Why are you here, sir? This is a private conversation. Ghislaine means well. <laughs> no need to show up, hear him out. He does mean well. He's not your foe. Got good intentions. You guessed right. He hired me. But only because he wanted to help you. Be not angry, my lady. You no longer bear this burden alone. I know all. You told him! I know a curse afflicts you, a curse which grows more severe by the day. I understand how you feel. My aunt, Countess de Lonfall, once contracted a strange illness which ate away at her from the inside. She grew weaker by the day, the light fading from her eyes. I remember her saying the worst was not the pain, but losing mastery of her own body. She was so helpless. I fear you feel the same. The Witcher knows a way to lift the curse from you and let it rest on me. I wish to do this, to take it from you, Vivian. Why? Because I love you. I might have died in the arena. I sought to slay a Shalmar for you. But now I see the fool I was. Now I see how I risked my life for no purpose. Yet with this, I can truly do something for you. I do not wish to inflict this horror on anyone. You saw how it looks, Witcher. I turn to you as one elder and hopefully one wiser as well. Do you think this a good idea? I don't really think either is a good idea, but I think it's worth a try. Yes. Worth a try as I see it. Original curse fell on an unborn child. Doubt it'll take hold as strongly when transferred to a full-grown man. You've now heard the expert opinion. Let us do this together, Vivian. Very well. I was prepared to die. Thus, I am also prepared to attempt something mad. Now, we must go to my pool in the woods, yes? Let's go, yeah, come on. Everything's agreed, so no point wasting any more time. Let's go. I mean, we could have stayed and looted around her tent, but I feel like it's probably best to just go off. I wonder why all the breaks, though, they're letting us back out of this stuff. That's the second time in this specific mission they let us back out. I hope this is a good idea. I feel... Glam, you're... True love. I mean, he definitely loves her. We knew that he loved her. We definitely knew that he loved her. But, it's just scary. You know? It sure is. It's scary to want to think that you're lifting a curse from somebody else and putting it right onto somebody else. 
Lifting the curse of somebody, then putting it on somebody else. The, the horrible of a spent night. What became of her? She passed on. Who passed on? Return. There can be only one. Return to the hermit and have him judge your deeds. Wait, did we? Did we finish both of them? Get out of here. I think we... <laughs> we finished both of them. Get out. That's so cool. Way to go, Geralt. Way to go. But that's not the quest that we're on here. We'll do that next episode. Go to the glade with Vivian and Gulaim. Come on. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Gulaim. Are you ready for this? You ready to be Birdman? You can be a superhero. Die, beast. Come on, you want to get whooped up? Lady Vivian. Oh, yeah. That kind of hurts. Hold on. Ekamora. We'll take a Raffords for now. Catacane. We don't have no. Oh, we don't have no silver sword on. What the bloody hell? Geralt of Rivia sword. Oh, it looks so cool. We'll showcase it in a second. But is it better than Iris? Air Critical hit damage bonus. That I don't know. I'm not sure. It might be. That that's something to consider. Garrett of Rivia Sword or Iris. I don't know. I'm not sure which ones, which ones to play. Iris is pretty serious. Slay the beast! Watch yourself, Gulaim. He's burning. He's. Close one. True love. Can it be so powerful? She is really cool looking as that bird. So, this is my true form. It is not too late. You may still change your mind. It will bring no shame. My mind is made up. My resolve is firm. If you can handle it, so will I. You are beautiful to me, even as you stand now. Oh, that's clearly rubbish. Shut your eyes, both of you, and don't move. Guillaume? Yes, my love? If you become as I am now, I wish you to know I shall not leave you. Picture yourselves reflected in a pool of water. Focus on that. Now, open your eyes. Damn, I think it might have worked. Didn't think that it worked. Didn't think that worked. Honestly, didn't think this would work. Doubted anything would happen. Read about this ritual in Grim Wars. Descriptions all seemed dramatic, embellished. All stipulated a condition that seemed improbable. 
What condition was this? A real bond between those involved. True love. Does she love him, though? I know he loves her. He definitely loves her. How do you feel? In general, you feel it change, Guillaume? I was struck hard, as if by a battering ram, but now I, I feel not at all different. Apart from a slight itch on my skin. Are you certain it worked? Yes, something happened, definitely. Must be an intersection beneath this pond. Powerful magic at work here. Look at Vivian. What now? You get to live happily ever after. My work is done. You get to live happily ever after, I think. Maybe. Even so, if the curse comes back on her or you, you can be bird couple. If all else fails, I guess. But still, that was really awesome. I want to say you get to live happily ever after, but is there ever happily ever after in The Witcher? Let's just go with it. Let's not... Let's not... Let's not be a Debbie Downer here. Let's go with it, huh? Now? Now you get to live together. Happily ever after. Still, watch yourselves carefully. Notice any troubling symptoms. Find me. Naturally. I thank you, Geralt. Oh, and your payment. <sighs> At last! I have so much to make up for. Balls to attend, distant lands to see. Free at last, as a bird. Ha! Huh? I found you droll. I had not noticed before. But you will not fly away without me. That remains to be seen, I think. But I too must thank you, Witcher. Don't mention it. You take care of both. He's about to roll out on him already. Thank you for lifting the curse for me, but I got things to do, people to see, places to go. <laughs> the hell? Beat Regis at Miri Cemetery. What a really awesome quest. Wow, that was so good. I loved it. Definitely one of the best quests so far in the DLC, if not the best. That was really cool. Tough decisions. Great characters, great, uh, just all bunch. It had so much stuff going on here. That was really awesome. Cool. Cool, man. All right. What do we do now? Let's look at Gulaim. Gulaim came up with something. Vivian probably came up with something, too. Gulaim, where are you? The Witcher determined Vivian was indeed inflicted by a curse and had been since before she was born a dark medication which caused her to transform into a bird every night. Geralt offered to try to cure this cumbersome condition. He reported back to Gulaim on what he had learned. Gulaim rose to the occasion and offered to take the curse upon himself in order to free Vivian from it. Gulaim convinced Vivian to undergo the ritual which would transfer her curse to him. According to Geralt, once transferred, the curse's effects would be weakened, but... He was not able to make any guarantees concerning the young knight's fate. As soon as they performed the ritual, Vivian felt the curse had been lifted. As for Gulaim, he did not notice any significant side effects. Maybe he never got cursed. Maybe the curse went to him and it just, like I said before, maybe it just... Maybe that curse only works if you get cursed as a child. Just like Geralt was saying, it's he's he's grown man now. It hit him and probably did nothing. No effect. We need to find Vivian. Oh Vivian. Geralt decided to tell Gulaim what he had learned. Gulaim offered to help in lifting the curse and declared he was willing to take the burden upon himself. Thanks to the information Geralt had gathered, Gulaim convinced Vivian to let him take the curse upon himself. According to Geralt, the spell would have much weaker effects. Once transferred, Vivian believed Gulaim had the best of intentions and decided to trust him. The three of them performed a ritual lifting the curse from Vivian. As for Gulaim, he noticed no immediate changes. He might not be a bird man. It's not... It's not telling us that he is. So maybe, just maybe, it never affected him. 
but I felt like it would probably tell you if it did, or maybe tell you if it didn't. All right, what do you say we do more in Whirl? Keep going with this build here. Before we head out though, and I forget, let's showcase some of this stuff. We'll put our armor back on. It was fun palling around in our knight's armor with no potions pretty much there. And then let's put on Gerald a Rivia sword. Oh man, it's so beautiful. We have to wear it. Should we wear this over Iris though? It looks so good though. It's the best looking steel sword in the game so far. And not only that, just look at the effects. Plus 150 armor piercing, plus 50% critical hit damage bonus. That's not just a little, that's a lot. Yes, it might be more overall, it might be less overall DPS, but I feel like this sword is still better than Iris. Iris takes a little bit of health away. That armor bonus though, and that critical is just screaming at me because we are gonna have them bonuses with, we're gonna obviously put severance back on that. We'll have severance on them. I think we should do it. I think it's the play. I don't know though. I'm not sure. But for now, because I am not leaving yet, I don't want to leave the area just yet. Oh, we got Geralt of Rivia's crossbow too. We didn't showcase. Let's look at this. Hold on. You don't have nothing in your hand, Geralt. Sir? Wait, it's not working. Let me look at this again. Let's put the crossbow on. Oh, that's pretty slick looking. It's your crossbow, but I honestly feel like the cat one looks better. It just looks better. Does it not? Look at it. Yeah. It's got that slick handle. Hmm. It's smaller. But what is better? Is Geralt of Rivia's better? 300% attack power? No. I don't... Well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It might actually be better because... But you can upgrade this one. You can upgrade that one. Wait. Oh, you know what's kind of shitty? You can upgrade this. It's not shitty, but you can upgrade the Grandmaster swords and stuff too. Damn. It makes me wonder if we'll be even using these other things that's not Witcher gear still. This Grandmaster stuff seems so important. Up to three different oils can be applied to a sword at a time. Bombs are thrown without delay. Oh, that's really good. Because that delay really kind of screws us at times. That's serious. That might be minor. It might you you might not think that that might be strong, but in my mind, since we were we had the cluster bombs at one point, that's serious. We were in a bomb build at one point, and that the main reason why I went away from it is because by the time we went to throw the bomb, it was literally the enemies were already on top of us. They were giving us a bomb hug, pretty much, and then we were throwing the bomb and then blowing ourselves the hell up. Right now, we will keep Witcher gear stuff on, and Iris, because Iris has Severance. This one has Severance too, but Iris is still better. It's hard to say here. We really just need to go about making the Grandmaster gear. We gotta find whoever can make this Grandmaster gear, because I don't think that's a quest anywhere. We don't have any quest about Grandmaster gear, and there's no collectibles. Master, master, master. Oh, we do. Where is he at? Or she. Where are they at? Oh, right here then. We were so close to it. We should have did that. We walked right past it. Tell you what. We'll do that when we go back into city here. I think next episode I will be over here in this general area. And we will turn in there can be only one quest. Though, should we knock out some of this stuff on the way? I'm still thinking about holding off on the question marks for now. 
But then again, I kind of want to take some of these question marks out in this area. Maybe we'll knock out these three here. One, two, three. Then head over here. I think that's a str sound strategy here. Knock out this one, this one, this one. And then head over here and do this one. And then make our way to Corvo. Because it's probably time for the area, you know, our house to be upgraded by now. We will leave these here for when we actually do Father Knows Worst. So, possibly knocking these out. If I don't knock these out, we'll just head straight over here. But this is the goal for next episode. This mission, turn it in. Go to Corvo, check on our upgrades. Then make our way over to the Master. And then try to start Yen's Quest. I think Yen's Quest is the next quest we do. And then we just take it from there. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.